The early morning sunlight streamed through the windows, casting a warm glow across the room. Yuki sat cross-legged on her cushion, eyes closed in deep concentration. Her voice, steady and clear, filled the air with the rhythmic chant of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. As she continued her morning Dai Moku, a sense of peace and energy began to well up within her, radiating outward like the rays of the rising sun. This daily practice of chanting Dai Moku, the title of the Lotus Sutra, is at the heart of Nichiren Buddhism. It is through this practice that practitioners aim to align themselves with the fundamental law of the universe and manifest their innate Buddha nature. As Nichiren Daishonin himself wrote, when the skies are clear, the ground is illuminated. Similarly, when one knows the Lotus Sutra, one understands the meaning of all worldly affairs. The concept of shining like the sun with morning vibrant Dai Moku encapsulates the transformative power of this practice. Just as the sun rises each day to illuminate the world, the consistent and heartfelt chanting of Dai Moku has the potential to brighten one's life and the lives of those around them. This radiant effect is not merely metaphorical. Practitioners often report feeling a tangible shift in their energy and outlook after their morning practice. Nichiren emphasized the importance of morning practice, writing, exert yourself in the two ways of practice and study. Without practice and study, there can be no Buddhism. You must not only persevere yourself, you must also teach others. Both practice and study arise from faith. Teach others to the best of your ability, even if it is only a single sentence or phrase. This guidance underscores the dual nature of the practice, personal transformation and the ripple effect it has on the wider community. The vibrant Dai Moku referred to in our chapter title speaks to the quality of the practice. It's not about mindless repetition, but rather a focused, energetic, and heartfelt engagement with the chant. Daisaku Ikeda often speaks about the importance of this morning practice. He says, a brilliant day begins with bright morning Dai Moku. Let's make today another day of victory by chanting with a fresh determination each morning. This emphasis on starting the day with Dai Moku sets the tone for everything that follows. But what does it mean to truly shine like the sun through this practice? To understand this, we must delve deeper into the philosophy behind it. The sun, in this context, represents the inherent Buddha nature within all beings. Just as the sun continually shines, whether obscured by clouds or not, our Buddha nature is always present, even when we can't perceive it. Nichiren writes, illuminated by the light of the five characters of the mystic law, they can perceive the true aspect of all phenomena. This illumination is both internal and external. As we chant Dai Moku, we begin to see ourselves and the world around us more clearly, recognizing the interconnectedness of all things and our own potential for enlightenment. The morning aspect of this practice is significant. In many spiritual traditions, the early hours are considered a potent time for practice. The world is quiet, the mind is fresh, and there's a sense of new beginnings. By engaging in vibrant Dai Moku at this time, practitioners set a powerful intention for the day ahead. Jose Toda often spoke about the importance of this morning practice. He said, Morning Gangyo is the foundation of your day. It's like having breakfast. You wouldn't skip breakfast and expect to have an energetic, productive day, would you? It's the same with your practice. This analogy to breakfast is particularly apartment. Just as a nutritious morning meal fuels our body for the day ahead, vibrant morning daimoku nourishes our spirit and mind. It provides the spiritual sustenance needed to face the challenges and opportunities that each new day brings. The concept of vibrant daimoku is worth exploring further. The word vibrant suggests energy, enthusiasm, and life. It's the opposite of a dull, rote recitation. Nichiren Buddhism emphasizes the importance of chanting with faith, practice, and study. This means engaging with the practice wholeheartedly, with a clear understanding of its significance and a strong belief in its efficacy. Nichiren writes, Believe in the Gohanzen with your whole heart. Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like the roar of a lion. What sickness can therefore be an obstacle? 
this powerful imagery of a lion's roar conveys the strength and vibrancy that should characterize one's Dai Moku. It's not a meek whisper, but a confident declaration of one's Buddha nature. As practitioners engage in this vibrant morning Dai Moku, they often find that it begins to influence every aspect of their lives. The clarity and energy cultivated during these morning sessions start to permeate their interactions, decisions, and overall outlook on life. They begin to shine like the sun in their daily activities, radiating positivity and wisdom to those around them. This effect is not always immediate or constant. Like the sun, which may be temporarily obscured by clouds, our ability to manifest our Buddha nature can be hindered by challenges and negativity. However, the consistent practice of morning Dai Moku helps to dispel these clouds, allowing our inner light to shine through more consistently. Nichiren provides encouragement for those times when the practice feels difficult. Suffer what there is to suffer, enjoy what there is to enjoy. Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, no matter what happens. This perspective helps practitioners maintain their practice even when they don't feel particularly vibrant or sunny. The transformative power of this practice extends beyond the individual. As one begins to shine more brightly, it naturally illuminates the lives of others. This is the essence of bodhisattva practice in Nichiren Buddhism, working towards one's own enlightenment while simultaneously striving to help others achieve theirs. Daisaku Ikeda often speaks about this ripple effect. A great human revolution in just a single individual will help achieve a change in the destiny of a nation and, further, will enable a change in the destiny of all humankind. This revolution begins with the seemingly small act of chanting Dai Moku each morning. As practitioners continue this daily practice, they often find that their capacity to shine like the sun grows. What begins as a flickering flame of faith and practice can grow into a radiant beacon of wisdom and compassion. This growth is not always linear or easy, but the consistent practice of vibrant morning Dai Moku provides the fuel for this transformation. Nichiren himself faced numerous persecutions and challenges in his life, yet he never wavered in his faith or practice. He encourages his followers with these words, employ the strategy of the Lotus Sutra before any other. All other matters are subordinate to this. This strategy, at its core, is the practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo with faith and determination. As we conclude this exploration of shining like the sun with morning vibrant Dai Moku, it's important to remember that this practice is not about achieving some distant, perfect state of being. Rather, it's about continually polishing our lives, day by day, morning by morning. It's about allowing our innate Buddha nature to shine more brightly, illuminating our own lives and the lives of those around us. Nichiren's words serve as a fitting conclusion to our chapter. When you chant Myoho and recite Renge, you must summon up deep faith that Myoho Renge Kyo is your life itself. As practitioners embrace this deep faith and engage in vibrant morning Dai Moku, they indeed begin to shine like the sun, bringing warmth, light, and hope to the world around them. In the quiet of each new dawn, as voices rise in the chant of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, countless suns are kindled. Each practitioner, through their sincere and vibrant Dai Moku, becomes a source of light, illuminating the path towards a more enlightened self and a more compassionate world. And so, the practice continues, day after day, as steady and life-giving as the sun itself.